Can a diabetic eat almonds? Almonds is good or bad for diabetes? Potential benefits, are almonds beneficial for people with diabetes? Almonds, while nutritionally beneficial for most people, are especially good for people with diabetes. Research has shown that almonds may reduce the rise in glucose, blood sugar, and insulin levels after meals, said O'Shea Kochenbach. In a 2011 study, researchers found that the consumption of two ounces of almonds was associated with lower levels of fasting insulin and fasting glucose. This amount consists of about 45 almonds. The key in this study is that the participants reduced their caloric intake by enough to accommodate the addition of the almonds so that no extra calories were consumed. A 2010 study found that eating almonds may help increase insulin sensitivity in people with prediabetes. Almonds and magnesium. In a 2012 study, researchers found that long-term high blood sugar levels may cause a loss of magnesium via urine. Because of this, people with diabetes may be at a greater risk for magnesium deficiency. Learn more about mineral deficiencies. Almonds in your heart. Almonds may reduce your risk of heart disease. This is important for people with diabetes. According to the World Heart Federation, people with diabetes are at a higher risk of heart disease. Almonds are high in monounsaturated fat, said O'Shea Kochenbach, which is the same type of fat we often hear associated with olive oil for its heart health benefits. According to the United States Department of Agriculture, USDA, an ounce of almonds contains nearly 9 grams of monounsaturated fat. Nuts are a high-calorie snack, but they don't seem to contribute to increased weight gain when eaten in moderation. Not only do they contain healthy fats, but they also leave you feeling satisfied. How many almonds should I eat? A few almonds can go a long way toward filling you up. Try to stick to a 1-ounce serving, which is about 23 almonds. According to the USDA, 1 ounce of almonds contains 164 calories, 6 grams of protein, 3.5 grams of dietary fiber. To avoid mindless eating, try portioning out your almonds in small containers or plastic bags. Some companies also sell almonds in single-serving packages for an easy grab-and-go option. Adding almonds to your diet, the versatile almond. The grocery store offers a wealth of almond products, such as almond milk, various flavored almonds, almond butter, and more. When selecting an almond product, read the nutrition facts label. Be wary of the sodium and sugar that can come from certain flavorings. Also watch out for the carbohydrate and sugar content in chocolate-covered nuts. Are you ready to start enjoying the benefits of almonds but don't know where to start? Almonds are incredibly versatile, so the possibilities are close to endless. Breakfast, for breakfast, try sprinkling chopped, slivered, or shaved almonds on dry cereal or oatmeal, which has additional benefits for people with diabetes. Almonds are also tasty on their own and a great way to get you through an afternoon slump. Lunch and dinner, toasted whole grain, high-fiber bread or apple slices spread with almond butter are great mini-meal options. For dinner, almonds can easily be added to a number of entrees. Dessert, almonds can even be integrated into dessert. Sprinkle them on top of frozen yogurt for an added crunch. You can also use almond meal in place of flour when baking. The takeaway, almonds offer a host of nutritional benefits and flavor, especially for people with diabetes. They're versatile and can easily be added to a wide variety of meals.